welcome guys welcome to my youtube channel road tailoring so in this video we are going to be cutting a female fitted trouser we are avoiding those foldings or those skews around that flap around the crotch point so we don't want to make the female trouser straight at the hip side because that is one of the things that causes uh, skews around the around the flap or the crotch points so first we are going to cover out the hip oh, so by covering out the hip we are to take the new measurement the new line so our new line here is 18 we are using 18 as where the hip stops and the hip line where the hip is is from the waist to the hip is 10 inches so we've marked 10 inches around this side so to curve the hip out it depends on how curvy the person's hip is so first we are taking 1.5 inch out around the waist and we go to the new line taking one inch out this actually depends some people you might take out two uh, inch out around the hip around the waist then at the new line you take out 1.5 it depends on how big the person's hips is i'm going to drop my number in the comments and the description so if you have any question and it's also a whatsapp number so you are going to connect from the waist straight to the hip line after doing that we are to connect with our french curve from the hip line from the hip line to the new line so we are connecting from this side so after from the new line uh, from the hip to the new line we are to connect down to what to wherever the children want to stop making a straight maintaining the same measurements so after that we are going to the uh, to the waist and we are going to cut the flap the crotch point mark it right so for the cutting of the waist you are to divide the waist by four by four so i'm going to divide the waist by four the waist is 30 i'm dividing it by 4 i'm getting 7.5 7.5 so if you would like to add and to put that in the front part of the trouser because we are actually cutting the front not the back this is the front so if you want to add that to it so i'm going to add that of one inch and that is it so i mark one inch so the hip line and the flap length that is the crotch line is always the same as the hip line always the same so but for some people their hip line is nine eight depends so using the same hip line here is ten so i'll come to this side to measure for the hip the hip is 40 40 inches so i'm going to divide it by four so as i divide by four i got 10 because this is a trouser not a skirt i don't want it to be more fitted to be that fitted so i'm going to add just one inch to it. so i got 11. so now just to curve from this side and this is where that skews that folding around the um, flap, the crotch line comes from. Some people might connect with their French curve like this. Some people connect with the French curve like this. And this is wrong. So you have to take it inward. Taking it inward. This line is not supposed to be coming like this, it's supposed to go like this. But because of the dart, we added to it. But when we take out the dart, this balance back won't be as covered as this. So let's 
because we added that to it. We added one inch that. So this line, if we take out the one inch that we added to it, it is supposed to be like this. It's supposed to be like this. But no problem, since we are still going to take out the dart. So to take out the dart, we just measure it, measure it, then divide it by two. We are going to be putting the dart at the middle. So we added one inch for that. So I'm taking half inch out from both sides. Then measure the length of your dart which you want. So I'm going to be using four inch, four inches. So as I use four inches, we are done for the waist. Going to the leg. So it depends on the width you want to give it. So I'll be using it. Eight inches, or up to eight inches. So from the eight inches, I'm just going to connect straight from the clutch point, from the flat point, straight to this side, and that's. So to make the rolling easier, I'm going to use this small ruler. So I'm going to connect from this point. After connecting straight, I'm going to take out half an inch from this point, from this side. So I am going to connect from this crotch point to this upper inch, from this upper inch back to this side. Cutting your trouser this way, a pleated trouser, this will avoid those folding, those uh, skewing around this side for a female trouser. Remember, we are going to use this to cut also for the back, but making the back, the back uh, 2 inches or 1.5 inches bigger than the front.